Hello everyone, this is Randy here again. Another episode of Professional Farmer 2014. And we are playing on the American map from the Platinum DLC. And it's currently raining. Uh, good news though, if we look at the forecast, it's supposed to be sunny today. So hopefully once we get past this rain here, we should be okay. Should we fill it up on gas and clean it up? Although I guess the cleaning isn't going to do a whole lot, seeing how we're going to we go do some plowing. Oh, that's right. i got to remember this thing. <laughs> Pivots around on the back of this uh, three-point hitch. Oh, boy. Anyway, off screen, I finished up all the harvesting of the grass and corn. Uh, I did run out of grass again. And unfortunately, for some reason, the uh, fields I bought, that one field, I can only harvest half of that field. Not sure what was up with that. The other half would not let me harvest it, so... I could uh, mow it, but wouldn't actually uh, get any grass out of it, which is kind of weird. Okay, well, attachment down. No other options? Okay, that folds it out, I guess. Ah, uh, there's the plow. I was going to say, okay, when's it going to start plowing? Bummer is I can't actually see the entire plow. Oh, that is a big plow. It's surreal. That yeah, really, really pulls the tractor around, too. I'm really overcompensating here for the steering, that's for sure. Been a while since I plowed in this game. Oh yeah, they, there it go. Stop raining finally. Okay, we do attachment up. Now, we'll rotate around the other way. Oh, well, cool. Okay, yeah, steering is slightly difficult with this. Yeah, anyway, folks, as you can see from the uh, money situation, we are doing... Actually, I guess you can't see at the moment. If I switch back to that, now you can. We are doing uh, pretty good. We made a fair amount of money off the uh, grass and corn last year uh, for the cows that is not by uh, selling it outright anyway oh, now that's interesting now there it uh, turned on the three point like it should at least how I think it should that's going to be a terrible alignment let me try that again Okay, that's funny. Now it's gonna look weird. And now it's probably gonna be backwards too, if I had to guess, yes. Let's try that way. There we go, much better. Now, plow this size, I don't mind plowing so much. <laughs> the other little plow we had, we can watch, I guess we still have it. Yeah, we could probably sell it. Yeah, if it took a while to do a field, especially a field this size. I mean, this is a fairly good sized field here. I did pick one of the larger fields to plow, 2.8 hectares. So, definitely a larger field.
Okay, looks like I'm gonna be missing little bits and pieces here and there. Definitely not doing a very good job of keeping this line straight. Yeah, it's definitely really hard to uh, control with this plow. Definitely likes to pull the tractor around a lot. I don't know if you guys can hear my uh, keyboard or not. Definitely clacking on the key pretty good, that's for sure. I wonder, oh, no, I wanted the inside view. I could probably actually do it better from the inside, I bet. Basically, I should be able to keep the edge of your hood there lined up with the edge of the plow job. More or less, anyway. And it should come out right. Yeah, this is definitely a plow where you'd almost like to have one of those uh, Klaus like Xerons or something. Too bad, I don't... Yeah, this game doesn't have them in it. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Are some of the great, big, articulated uh, four-wheel drive jobs. That would also be appropriate for this plow. I'm trying to remember, I think this was a 12-furrow plow, if I remember correctly. <laughs> There's a lot of furrows to be turned over at once. Interesting. That was backwards. Okay. <laughs> okay. Which means I think it's going to be backwards again. Yes. I must have messed something up there. Down at the other end. It looks like a cloud going right this way. Yeah, it must have been the other end when I came back up this way. I must not have flipped it. Well, there's no button to flip it, though. You just raise it up and lower back down. Huh, must have done something wrong. Anyhow, anyway, looks like I'm definitely keeping it a little bit straighter here from in the uh, cab. I do uh, find it easier to uh, follow a line like that from in the cab. I don't know, maybe it's just because I can get a little bit finer adjustment. I'm not sure what it is, but. Maybe it's just the fact the uh, angle you're looking at it from that's probably got something to do with it. Here, my angle really doesn't change, whereas if I get out, you know, obviously I can look around and look around like that. That is going to affect my angles slightly. I cannot turn much with that, uh, can I? No, that's the wrong side. There we go. So anyway, with the money we have, folks, I plan on purchasing the potato harvester. It's going to be the number one, and that's going to take the uh, majority of the money. It's going to be a good, I think it was 570000 something like that, if I remember correctly. I think it was, it's over half a million, I know that much. So I don't remember the exact uh, dollar amount after that, but... 
That's definitely going to take a lot of our money. And then after that, uh, I'm not sure exactly what we'll purchase. We do have a large cedar ready, so probably don't need that. I'm thinking maybe we'll probably go for like a bale or something. Which obviously means we're going to have to plant some type of crop that'll allow us to get straw. It's probably going to wheat or barley. And we'll see once too. Maybe we can uh, purchase one more tractor. That other tractor I was looking at there um, last episode. And possibly maybe another combine as well. We can get the bigger. I think it was the Charles combine, if I recall correctly. We sell off the cheap used piece of crap we have now and get ourselves a brand spanking new one. Hopefully get one with the uh, fridge and the microwave in it so we can cook our lunch while we're combining. Good. Correct way. Oh, so what do we got? Half the field done? Oh, better than half. 64%. Okay. Well, that's done in no time flat then. And I probably still will hire workers to do most of the rest of the fields. Maybe do a field or two myself, that's probably going to be about it. That's possible. One other thing we get too is the other cultivator. See if that one actually has the true correct width. If I recall correctly, it does. I think my only complaint with that one is it jumps around. Whereas the one we now doesn't have the correct width, but doesn't jump around. So, kind of a trade-off there, I guess. Take the pick of your poison, I guess you could say. Ooh, got way off there. What happens when you are not watching what's in front of you. Okay, 82%. Oh, yeah, I definitely missed a little bit there. Oops. <clears throat> ah, once the field uh, recalculates itself, it should be fine, I would think. As long as we get that uh, plowed number up to 100%. Yeah, it'll definitely let you miss a little bit, but if you miss too much, that's when you start having problems. So yeah, we'll find out if that's a little too much I missed there or not, I guess. It'll be sure to let us know when we start cultivating that we're cultivating land that's not plowed, so. And yeah, I'm thinking that's what we'll do. I think we'll go to the store, we'll buy that other cultivator. We'll give that a try. I remember correctly, I don't think it was very expensive, so... Of course, the one we have now is was, I think, the most expensive one, I'd like to say. Uh, as far as the cultivators go, anyway, that is. Oh, look out. 
You get way off again. Oops. Try not to make too big of a adjustment either when I do get off like that. I don't want to make it like crazy on the uh, plow job. Wow, that is quite a bit to miss there. I might have to do a headland there along that. Don't think it's the game's gonna like that. Uh, 99%. Okay, so I think there's enough done here. Let's uh, plow ourselves a nice little headland here. Okay, let's not. Thought I could turn, but apparently not. Try that again. Oh, I might have to do a little more over there. Okay. Well, I, yeah, I guess that'll work. Doesn't really matter up here. I don't think which way we uh, do the headland. Except now it's going to because I'm going, uh, yeah, going back across it. Oh, well. I was thinking one would be enough, but uh, it doesn't quite look like it. way, but I guess it'll work. Ah, there we go. 100%. Excellent. I just out of curiosity, we'll take a look at the uh, field view here, and I think it actually show the true percentage which it takes out to the 100th place, if I recall correctly. And we're doing this field here. Yes, takes it out to the 100th place, and it is 100%. Okay, that's what I want to see. That means when it uh, recalculates this field there, it should be fully 100% plowed. Without any missing spots like I've got there. Okay, we'll drive this back to the farm then. And we'll head up to the shop and pick up another cultivator and maybe another tractor too. Check out what the prices are first. Let's make sure we can afford everything I want to get. Hopefully we can this time. I, mean, I got a fair whack of money, so... I mean, $1.3 million, so... Spent a little bit of already. Obviously, we bought this uh, plow. And we bought that uh, massive tractor. Which I don't think it's quite as massive as this tractor is yet. You know what? I think it's actually up by the grass field yet. Doesn't look like we got too dirty plowing. That's a wonder. Another plow there? Yes, it is. Probably just as well haul that up to the shop and sell it. Apparently we got some rear ends that are invisible on this plow. There we go, that should be a halfway decent place for it. Oh, you're gonna make me put it down to detach it, huh? Okay, then you're immediately gonna flip over when I unattach it. Weird. Anyway, let's uh, head to the shop, which is that one. Got some weird people over here. Uh, 
Okay. And that would be under groundwork. Could possibly check out some of these other things too. There's down here. Not sure how big these are though. Amazon Cultivator KG. Just guess it by the numbers, it's probably six meters. Anyway, we have that one. And the other big one is this one. So 50,000, that's not too bad. We can just safely buy that. And then under potatoes, 550,000. Okay. And you know what? I should have bought the tractor again first because now I have that plant parked there. And I'm not going to be able to move it. And while I'm here too, what was the baler? I'm thinking there's a combine header trailer down there too. The combine I wanted to get, I believe it's at the bottom here. Yes, the uh, Charles. I believe that's the largest one. Obviously with the uh, largest header to go with it. And that is, ooh, 250, wow. And a larger baler will run us. I think that's the 2360 from the looks of it's the biggest one. That's going to run a 60. Okay, I think we can afford most of this equipment. Uh, the tractor I was thinking about getting is... Ah, yes, this little one here. Probably not big enough to pull that cultivator, but I was at least planning on pulling it home with it. It won't let me buy it, will it? Just, uh, pretty sure it, uh, didn't. No, it will not. Okay. Anyway, for those of you who watched my uh, first season of my Let's Play on this, uh, you've seen this cultivator already. I already had this cultivator. That's, uh, needless to say, the reason I bought the other one, because I didn't like this one. Maybe that's changed, but uh, somehow I have my doubts. It uh, jumped all over the place. Kind of like the uh, original cultivator we had did. Anyway, we'll take this up to the shop, pull that out of the way. And make a note to self to buy tractor first, then you can move implement so you can buy more stuff. I do have a little bit more uh, corn silage in that trailer there, by the way. I think it was like half full or something like that. Don't have any grass to go with it at the moment, though, unless I buy some more. Definitely want to plant uh, probably maybe a field or two of each, I'm thinking. Won't go quite as crazy as I did last year. Out of curiosity, is this field here seeded with what? Wheat. Okay. Oh, gotta hook up from this end. Okay. And let's fold it up. Yeah, that's another thing I don't like about this cultivator. Again, it, the entire thing's like attached, fixed to the three-point hitch. Yeah, this looks really weird, if you ask me. Kind of surprised too. You even pull something like this off the three-point hitch. I mean, you don't see that uh, very often where I live. That's for sure. Most of the stuff is. I uh, pulled off the uh, draw bar. Wouldn't actually be a bad field here to own. Take a look at the map here. Yeah, that wouldn't be a bad field at all.
And let's see if we can sneak through the trees here. This might not, uh, oh, okay, I think we're okay. Say this might not end up good. Oh, I did miss uh, little bits and pieces on the end here. Okay. Let's put it down. Oh, that is the farthest out I can zoom. Okay. Yeah, doing exactly what I remember doing. Jumping around. Really, really annoying. The reason I like the other cultivator, even though it's, uh, even though they've cheated us on the width of it. Now we could possibly buy, I believe that other cedar I was looking at cultivates. However, uh, I believe from a comment Michael left, it only plants, I think it was corn. If I remember correctly, so we could possibly buy that cedar. Although I'd have to make sure I changed it so it could plant more than just corn. That, I believe, was expensive, though, if I remember correctly. I think that was over 200, or real close to it, anyway. That's why we ended up going with the one we currently have now. Yeah, you can really see how it's uh, jumping around there. Uh, this one, though, yeah, this does have the full correct width, though. Oh, yeah. Spot there. Thought I missed plowing. Probably going to be another one there, too, when we get to it. Well, folks, with that, I think we'll uh, call it an episode there. If you have any comments or questions, uh, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching, and till next time.